Hey everybody, I got another update video for you. I've got some interesting uh, new progressions. So this is the new um, G-Code widget. It's got a little sent, queued, written, completed. That's because of the serial port version 1.7. But the example I'm going to show you today is uh, controlling an Arduino, that is controlling a laser, uh, and simultaneously sending commands to your uh, tiny G or your CNC controller. So notice I've actually got two serial ports connected here. Now to show you this demo a little bit better, I'm going to go ahead and run a macro that is called inject multicam into new right column. It loads it here. I'm going to hit run and notice that will put some cams into the right column here. I'm going to mute that little buzzing sound for now. I've got it cranked kind of high because um, I've got a lot of machines running right now. So notice I've got uh, my overview, my front view, and my USB microscope view. Uh, this is actually ganged up from two different computers. These are coming from one computer, and these are coming from a second one, um, just to get enough horsepower to stream this video live. So I think that's pretty cool. So the you can run your own by um, navigating to this fiddle for now. Eventually this could get injected, but it's still got some little things to tweak, but you can try it yourself. Okay, so now that I've got those cams running, I am going to show you a couple of things. So I'm going to open up the serial port console, and the uh, notice this is on COM37, so I'm going to show you something really quick. You can send commands direct to other ports other than the default port. Keep in mind the default port is green and so anything you send in the serial port console goes to the green default port. So if I say question mark that goes to my CNC controller that goes to COM22. But if you want to send stuff to COM37 or an alternate port you can do it down here manually. So notice I just sent a command to my Arduino Leonardo which is running a little custom chili pepper laser control. Um, and if I say laser off, that makes sure the laser's off. But laser on, watch what happens to the video feed. So the laser's running, and then I'll turn it off again. So I'm sending simultaneous commands to an alternate serial port. Now, that's pretty cool, but let's combine that with another macro. So there's a new macro called watch G code on complete and control Arduino to turn laser on off. Now the on complete, let's load that and we will, I'll show you what the on complete is. The on complete is this little black check mark. That comes back from the serial port JSON server now once that command is queued right into the um, CNC controller. Uh, and in my case, right into the tiny G. Okay, so now that we've got that going, uh, I'll start running it, and then I'll walk you through this macro. So let's go ahead and run the macro. Notice it's starting to watch the on complete uh, command. We'll minimize the macro. Actually, you know what? I'll leave that running. Let me see if I can get it as small as I can. And then, um, well, here, I'll, I'll show you more later. Okay, so now I've got a... Um, I've got a solder mask that I exported out of PCB G code for an Arduino shield. Uh, I've shown you that shield in some other videos. But the idea would be uh, I don't have any of the plastic in there right now, but I would be um, laser cutting some mylar to get this as a, a little solder mask. And so I've got some little detail areas. Okay, so let's get started here. Let's start running this. And I'll show you what's going on as I run it. Okay, so notice some of the new stuff happening. The greens, um, meaning that's queued. Let me unmute this so you can hear it. Notice the laser just turned on. Now that laser is turning on through the Arduino Leonardo as I'm getting to each spot in the uh, G code. Now what is it looking for? You'll notice I've got some M5 commands that do spindle stop and 
some M3s that do um, spin, well, M3 spindle stop, M5 spindle start. I actually don't know, right? Uh, I always forget. Okay, so, there's a lot going on here. Um, but you're seeing the laser run, and what's happening while that's running, let's go ahead and minimize this and reopen the macro. So notice I'm getting a laser on, laser off, and different lines. So what is it looking for? Let's expand this out. Um, you'll see in the macro that I'm telling it what, what serial port. In the init method, I am storing the macro into the window object for later use in case I keep rerunning this. It uninits it for me correctly, which really just means it'll unsubscribe. So don't subscribe and subscribe and subscribe each time I run it. Um, and then I get the G code. The G code I'm getting from the uh, a pub sub where you can call the Com Chili Pepper widget G code. That's this widget right here, and you can ask, you can request the G code, and it sends it back in a pub sub to receive G code, and then I store that in an array right here. Now, in the on complete, what I'm, what's happening in the on complete is every time. Uh, uh, an on complete comes back for each one of these lines. The macro is watching it. It's analyzing the data um, to see if it's a, a G code line. All G code lines here, it's this ID in this column with a letter G in front of it. So you'll see here that it's looking to see if it's one of those lines. Um, it then looks up the G code line from the array that we got back from the pub sub request, and then it analyzes the line to see if there's an M3. And if there is an M3, it turns the laser off. And it does that by publishing. This is pretty key here. It's doing a, <coughs> a WS send, and then send plus the serial port plus the command laser off. That's just a custom app running on the Arduino that just accepts the laser off and the laser on command. So if I get an M5, I send the word laser on. Kind of like I typed earlier into this console. And then ultimately when the program's done running the M30, it just turns the laser off. So that's really about it. Now what I will say is um, Let's hide this macro. I want to show you some of the problems, though, that I'm seeing. The on complete is not the most accurate thing. And so notice when I get to each one, I want to cut the laser out. Uh, or I want the laser to cut that little square out of the plastic. So I want it to turn on and turn off at the correct time. And you'll notice it turns on pretty good. But the turning off seems too quick. So I need to still figure out a better way to maybe get an additional completed, actually something maybe called unexecuted, because the syncing is not what I want yet. Um, so if anybody in the community has got some good ideas, uh, this may require some further firmware tweaking of the controller where I'm getting commands back. Um, or I may have to actually look at position feedback or something. You know, if I maybe brought the Z axis up at the end of each square and I watched the, um, the Z position kind of go up down, I could pivot off of that instead. Now that would mean I'm not using the on complete method. I'm really using like the on axis update method. Uh, but for now, this is pretty cool because you can imagine just writing a little quick custom Arduino app and then controlling it from Chili Pepper is pretty slick. Okay, thanks for watching.